I was actually in Crazy For You uh, based on the revival when I was 16. And I was in the tap dancing ensemble, so this show is very close to my heart. Strowman and just all these talented, uh, just all these talented people. It's talent like I've never, I've never been around so much talent in any project I've, I, I've ever done. I mean, not only singing ability, dancing ability, theatrical ability. It's, it, 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 it it's honestly, it's, it, it uh, it's the thing I'm probably going to be most proud of when, yeah. when this is all said and done. Yeah. Like my life. Uh, Susan Strowman, George Gershwin, and Jack McBrayer. Yeah, I'm a big selling boy. <laughs> He's, no. he's bigger than Gershwin. <laughs> I was just excited to try something new and scary and different. And yeah. With Susan Strowman. Can we say something? Patricia and I can see that you're all rather down in the dumps about this show of yours. But in our part of the world, we have a few sayings about this sort of thing. Stiff upper lip. Carry on. Chin up. Stiff upper lip. Carry on. Chin up. Stiff upper lip, stout fella, carry on. Chin up, keep muddling through. Stiff upper lip, stout fella, when the going's rough. doing it rehearsing another show right now and he had to go through the like can I do both and it, can I please because I really want to do this and they worked it out and I could not be more grateful to be here. Is it hard doing two shows at the same time? Like yes and no. I'm, I'm just putting most of my focus on this because this is three days away and that yeah. I've done before and we have another three weeks of rehearsal. Yeah. So yes. But okay. it's and also you just have to be yeah. 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 All different kinds of roles we're playing in life. <laughs> yes. That's cool. I performed this musical 10 years ago. It was the first piece of musical theater that I had ever did professionally. That's cool. And so I left at the chance to uh, work with Susan Stroman for the first time. Uh, I just completed An American in Paris. Gershwin is a, has a narrative to it that is uh, so pure that, um, albeit it's a little strange because I have my, you know, previous show in my head, but it, it quickly is very different, you know. Um, so it's, it, it's, I think it's a testament to, again, I say like the purity of their writing because it's very easy to tell, use the same song to tell a completely different story. So the, the songs speak for themselves, the music and the passion um, and like the true Americana, the like... I mean, for it to take place in a place like Nevada and Dead Rock and the, the true American West, the expansion and that, that sort of uh, American sound, it's just really it's special, you know. And to work with Susan Stroman, who's this yeah. crystal clear, uh, you know, communication with her choreography, it's, and it always tells an incredibly brilliant story. <laughs> remember a lot of the choreography but I remember all the choreography to Crazy Few. It's in my body. So it's been great to come to rehearsal every day and sing and dance. The show is about, it's really about how um, a, a group of New Yorkers go to Dead Rock, Nevada. And in Dead Rock, Nevada it's a, it's a dead town. It's a mining town that has dried up. And there's a theater there that has also been closed. But they think that if they open that theater up and infuse the town with art and theater and music, it, the town will be reborn. And, uh, and really that's what the show is about, is how um, 
art and theater can can bring energy and life to a town. And uh, so, so for us, it's very important today in America as some of these towns dry up. It's a little sad, but I think, but not for me. I just think it's it's really touching. Yeah, you know? it's, and it's uh, But it, that, definitely that one. It'd have to be that one. Oh uh, well, I mean, in this one, the dancing of um, I've Got Rhythm. Ooh, it's that just takes the cake. Beyond. I can watch that all day long. Like I long. have chills the whole time I'm watching. Uh, Uh, I can't be bothered now. Like I didn't know anything about that one. Is that the name of I can't be bothered now? It's uh, with the telephones and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. cute. Too. I like yeah. that. Yeah. There's yeah. something uh, it so makes fun. sense to my ear. Yeah. Yeah. That Laura yeah. Austin. Oh She'll gosh. get it. She's getting there. She's got a lot of potential. <laughs> oh yeah, we do have to commend our stars, Tony Asbeck and Laura Osnes. They're they're carrying some dead weight here, so yeah. <laughs> someone to watch over me is just iconic. I if I believe my dad and I danced to it at my wedding as the father daughter dance, so it was someone to watch over me. So that's always I've known that one for a while and it's been special. I really love They Can't Take That Away From Me. I think that's just a beautiful that's haunting an song. song. I think it's great.